and welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. This is part six. And now, we've just been interviewing Robert, and we're not even close to done with that yet. But we need some more stuff to be able to question him further. That sounds reasonable. Well, you know, you can't just work out your questions and then sort of ask the questions. And oh, no, no. Can't prepare in advance. That would no. be crazy. This bit, no, I had to look up a walkthrough because I it's. I just had no idea how to get this. Like, I thought maybe like clicking download on the other screen where, where it showed the license photo and that, but no. And I just didn't notice that print form there. So this would be just like if you just came became an FBI member and just got thrown into it in the deep end, as seems to have obviously happened. Yeah. Sort of. No Can one I told me what, what to do. <laughs> And it's not logical because, well, these processes have been developed over many years, so... Well, it should be logical in this game, but it's not. They won't let us get our hands on evidence without these. So yeah, we've got this evidence form, which... Like, we just printed it off immediately, so I don't know what the point of it is, like, why we couldn't just, you know, ask this woman for the evidence without it, but... I would have thought they would have had some printed yeah? off, and you just pick one up and write it. I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Yeah, you would think so. Well, aren't you in luck? We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. That was really, Do really, really weird form? voice acting. <laughs> yep. Here you go. And the, All uh, right. as always, just the character minute. just made it look weird. There are more tapes, Erica but looks this very impatient. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. Well, hang on. All the evidence from the last three years is behind that desk. Apparently. They don't get a lot of cases. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they get a lot of cases, they just don't. To play well, this tape. We know they don't do very well. Oh, and here we have an audio cassette, so we need the one tape player in the entire world, which is Dr. Gallagher's. What? Why don't they have one down... Yeah, if they've got tapes as evidence, you would think they would have a way of playing them. Yeah. Usually, right near the evidence room, I'd imagine. You would think. Possibly on a piece of string so people don't take it away, like to the morgue, because... <laughs> and, and by evidence room, of course, we mean evidence desk. <laughs> yeah. And you can't just, you know, use Gallagher's tape player here. We are going to have to steal it, because, you know, that's the only yeah. possible way you could get a tape player. As we've said before, it's like solving crime. Hello, Dr. Gallagher. You apparently have to go to a strip Agent joint Reed. and drink a lot of whiskey. <laughs> Your only option I'll is goodbye. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Can't Agent even Reed. ask her for it. In order to solve crimes, you have to become a criminal. Agent Reed, what are you doing? Stop messing with my equipment. I was wondering if I could borrow your tape recorder. No, you can't. It'll only be a minute. <laughs> I said no. Look, you can't ask her, you can just try and take it. And she says it'll only be a minute, but she is totally going to take it no. and just keep it. I need to get my hands on that. <laughs> like John's lighter that we're still carrying around. <laughs> Hello, Quick, Dr. Look Gallagher. over there. Agent Reed. <laughs> yep, still can't ask her for it. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Shoot her. Shoot her with the gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's possibly a bit extreme now, I think about it. <laughs> well, why not just escalate the crimes? <laughs> Breaking and entering, robbery. Next is murder? And we're going to talk to IT guy who apparently works in reception. Yes. <laughs> uh, and if we'd been mean to him Bye. earlier, he wouldn't no. help us now. But because we were nice to him, he would. No. Do we know how we do it? Or I could use your yeah, help with Gallagher. Yeah. You have to distract what Gallagher do you want me to do? by uh, you said making your a phone new call. To get on Gallagher's nerves. So like, you phone the Can morgue phone, and action? while she goes to answer, that then you would make my day. Deck. Wait oh. two minutes and Why then don't we do that anymore. anyway? It just seems much easier. 
Because you can't do that if you've chosen to be nice to Terrans. <laughs> ah. Hello, Dr. Cadaver. Anything up? Bulby, what a surprise. I was just thinking about you. My pet cockroach just died, and I wanted you to run an autopsy. Oh, my lord. Please? It's very important. I'm very sentimental about it. So I'll have a cross between the Pink Panther Bulby, and Mission um, you should go back to your hole upstairs before I make you part <laughs> of my <laughs> job. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I could liven things up around here. I'm past counting to ten. That's uh, awesome. no. It I'll leave those to Galaga. Awesome if you let me go back to my Clicked work. Clicked on the wrong thing. So. All right, all right, Gally. I'll get out of your hair. Quick, Thank quick. Thank you. Oh, you almost missed it. Yeah. It is repeatable, though. Oh, my lord. You can just get him to come down and have the exact same conversation again. <laughs> and despite the fact that we're still standing there and the tape deck is clearly gone, Gallagher will not notice. How many days has Gallagher been sat next to that corpse? Well, I'm very unclear on how much time has actually passed in this game. <laughs> It's the same day, but I don't know how long all this is supposed to have taken. Yeah. Uh, so now we get to listen to a tape. Fun. I hope Gallagher doesn't miss this much. <laughs> well, she seemed pretty keen to keep it, so... And as that's the only tape recorder, I imagine she will. Yeah. Alright, plugged in. It would be much nice if you could drag and drop stuff onto things. Apparently, Erica thinks that you plug in tapes. October 12th, 2008. Recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it. His lifestyle? We moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No. Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Is this woman a robot? Where are you going with she sounds yes. like a Please robot. Answer the question. Yes. Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. Oh, good. Now we're running out of cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her. It was oh wait, now the tape's just wrecked. <laughs> oh, I can Inside joke. I handed her a note. The note sir. Damn. What would I need to reenact that time? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's an odd question. I'd say an interview room, a robot, and... <laughs> Once again, I cut out the transition where you have to go through the observation room first. Yeah, thankful for that. But we can't miss this bit, because this is riveting. <laughs> Boogie's on into the chair. Robert, I want you to listen to this and tell me if it brings back any memories. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife That's just upset that night? This whole section is the only thing left on the tape. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. I'm glad they didn't make me play the entire tape to him. <laughs> yeah. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. Perhaps you should explain it to the police because. Hello, sir. Any information you can give me from here? The time. 9 30 p.m. It was something that Sarah and I always remembered from some date we had when we started going out. That was the time that night. Yes. What about the note? What did the note say? I don't remember. Don't you wish sometimes we could go back in time? I would have never left her that night. What would I need to reenact that time? Are you asking him? <laughs> Still a weird question. 
Yeah. I, well, maybe she was asking herself, I suppose. She doesn't seem to have any sort of internal monologue. She always says everything out loud. <laughs> ah, so you can do the time. Yeah, so now I know it's 9.30, I can do the time. Except I was clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> How can I find the time? What? Yeah, because I hadn't clicked the time before. She just asked that question, which I was confused about. So I went back to clicking on the date. But yeah, now that she's had said, how can I find the time, I can set it. But yeah, because of course you can. But yeah, it took me a minute to realise that. And of course you have to remember what it was exactly and all that stuff. Yeah, a lot of details you need to remember. Did you play this game in one playthrough, or did you? October two thousand eight. Nah, nah. Played it a little bit at a time. You should help me figure out what I need. Yeah. Uh, you figure out the date based on what he said in the like he said it was like last Thursday. Oh, the, or yeah, whatever it was he before. said. Yeah. 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 Of course, it's quite an irritating way to set the time and date, just yeah. one letter at a time. Two thousand eight, and they were recording the interview on a tape. That seems a little anachronistic. Yeah, it, it's hard to tell with those things. Sometimes organizations like that just keep using the same thing for no really apparent reason. Yeah, I suppose it could be. I liked how you could set it to October 00. Do you remember yes. the date when this. No. It has some checks on it, like you can't set you the year to like the 3000 and something. But you can set it to zero, it was because why not? Sarah I always remembered from some date we had when we started going out. That was the time that night. Yes. No, that's not right. What? And yeah, uh, again, yeah, everything in all the things has to be right before you can do anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we've still got one picture that we can't see at all. Yeah. And uh, the solution here. I need was, to gather more info. My vision. I just too could not confused. get this because it turns out that like cloth in his hand. Is this a note? Is actually Maybe the I note. Maybe I can make him and remember you can click it. it. And I didn't realize that. That's not a note. Or if it is, it... Oh, did you give her something that day? Anything? Yes, in fact, I did. I don't think you should be What did the notes say? Notes I, I, just... I don't remember. It was... I saw her opening the note as the tea pulled away. The tea? I guess the train has a, has a letter. Alright, what uh, do we have here? A note. What did the note say? I need to gather more info. My visions are too confused. Of course he doesn't remember what the note said. Yeah. And that's the one piece of key evidence we need. It's very important. So that's not going to be irritating to find at all. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. I still don't understand the finger waving. It's like yeah. the animators have just gone, we need her to do something. You can't just sit there and say words. Looks weird if she's just sitting still, so make her do something with her hand. Yeah. <laughs> and they probably had it shake at him first, and they go, well, that's a bit, that's a bit <laughs> aggressive. Can't so do that. <laughs> have, it, have it wave just off generally. <laughs> and the thing we need to complete our this three is items puzzle idea, but let's is see the boss's mug, because you might remember that she, Erica said before that the boss always carries that mug when she's interviewing people. Oh, okay, yep. So that one throwaway line of dialogue earlier in the game is actually a vital clue. See, that's sort of good, but it's also really, really irritating. Yeah, if you hadn't happened to have checked every single item in the boss's office, 
those yeah. two you, don't work you together. You know what to do. This is an annoyingly designed bit as well because this is yep. Phoebe. You need to the sit mug the mug on the desk on the, the table, but um, you can't do it while sitting there. You have to go and sit down, and oh. then you can do it. Let's just boogie on into our chair. See, now I can sit the mug on I the table. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll give it a try. And now we've got the three green things, we can do the projection. Hooray! <laughs> this is obviously a suicide. At least it will pass as one. We don't have time to deal with this. Don't you want to investigate further? When you've been on the force as long as I have, you'll learn to pick the big cases from the ones that'll only suck up your resources and not go anywhere. We'll talk more outside. And at the bottom of the page we can see here lyrics from The Taking by the Scarlet Furies, which is the band that the voice actor who plays Erica is in in real life. Uh, is this the one that the posters are on? Yes! Wow. This is just like a giant ad for this um, muso actor. Do you Don't remember any different. other details? How oh, Sarah was Sarah romantic. Was romantic. She liked nice was dinners with candy and, candy and having a song that was just for us. That night I handed her a note. note. The note I don't said think it's just for you. If, you know, well, someone it else was something from a song singing. called The Taking from the Scarlet Furies. She told me several times that it was our song. So I wrote her something from those lyrics. I wish I paid attention to that stuff when it mattered. Well, you wrote her a note on the last time you saw her, so that's something. <laughs> yes. And of course, he can't remember the lyrics, so... <laughs> you just have to... <laughs> Turns out, Erica likes the Scarlet Furies! Oh, wow. <laughs> They don't sound too bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, this is All it. Right. <laughs> this is the song. The Taking by the Scarlet Furies. But we can't just play him the song. What? Because... <laughs> well, we, we need to have an excuse for it, because he doesn't see the psychic projection, so he wouldn't know why we're asking about it. Oh. <laughs> Erica has to pretend to get a phone call. <laughs> Yeah, after. <laughs> Sorry, just I thought I had such a scratching your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, nothing <laughs> suspicious about, about that it? at all. That song, that's all awesome. song. I have oh, a touch screen. The note I wrote her had a phrase from that song. And, and they don't work. The rest, that I'm bound like that to lose. The one thing I'll take yeah, with no, me is you. Yeah, no, it would be pretty much impossible this to make that ring that way. Strange. It's a great song, and maybe it's a song. <laughs> really Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> and so now we can see the song lyric. We've got all the things. I don't know, that, that note just makes it look like he did murder her. I remember now. I remember clearly. I took a picture of Sarah before we walked down to Copley Station. Sarah had that look on her face. Yeah. I knew exactly Flip phone in 2008? Yeah, that would kick him out. This station is dirty. They need the janitor from our station. What's his name again? Mr. Longmore. What? Anthony. Why do you know a janitor from the station? Yes. And that nice is guy. the one yeah. thing we've been He's trying been to find out this entire have. time. Yeah, Anthony Longmore is the name city. of the dead guy. All this was for that. Oh. Yeah, that was worth it. It feels like our life oh, is a long yeah. string of goodbyes. And hellos. Sarah, you know this is what I do for a living. Here, I wrote this for you. I could only find a napkin. That's a handkerchief, that's not a napkin. I love you, Sarah. Yeah, it really doesn't look like a napkin or a note. <laughs> I'll be back before you know it. That was the last time I ever saw her alive. 
after I found her hanging in our apartment. My job, none of it made sense anymore. You have your name now. So this guy never had the realization that living on the street as a bum is actually really shitty? Well, apparently not. But yeah, because of how long that took, I was actually kind of confused about what we were supposed to have learned from that. <laughs> sort of forgot where you started and just... Yeah. <laughs> Robert, I'm going to do my best to get to the bottom of this. So like, I played through it, and I was confused. I went back and watched the recording, and it still kind of confused me. So I had to go back and look at the start of it again. Oh, right, yes, we wanted the name of the dead guy. That's what we were after. Don't end up where I did. Although when we brought him in, we had no reason to know that he would know who the dead guy was. We just brought him in yeah. on, a, it, it on did, a whim. It did seem to be just kind of, hey, there's a guy, let's help him. While we're on this other case. And, yeah. Well, we think his case is related, but we don't know. Well, yes, but why would you? Way to go, kiddo. Yeah. Go search that name. I'll give the man a ride. Thanks. Also, why? I don't know why you can tell him he has to stay there, but you can just make him stay. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. I'm gonna give him a ride. Where to? He's a bum. Just <laughs> drop, <and> drop, <laughs> drop him back at the alley where you found him. <laughs> have you seen any good memories lately? I have one for you. Search for Amy Lewis. I'm sure it'll ring a bell or two. Oh. Who the hell is sending me these? These what? Have, has she got other messages? Yeah. She does know that text messages have phone numbers and you can search them. <laughs> You're in the FBI, you can probably look up a phone number. <laughs> She's not that ethical to begin with, so... <laughs> so actually, you have a good point on the tape recorder thing, because they have pretty up-to-date phones there by the looks of it. Yeah. Anthony Longmore worked for the T. This is our guy. It says identifying marks none, though, and the guy ha has a tattoo, like a really distinctive one. Um, oh yeah. Can't really add much to that one. <laughs> you can't download this stuff to your phone. No. This is another situation where we use Terence's magical machine that we previously used to look through some paint somehow. But now we can transfer evidence to it. Why? I don't know why that would be a thing. <laughs> I mean, I've played the game so I know what we do use it for, but it doesn't make sense. Hmm. That, yeah, that, mm. that bit, a bit of voice acting was well worth having. Can you click on any of these? Do you use your psychic ability in this thing? I don't need to request any evidence right now. Uh, now we can look up her death in our case database. Uh, for some reason. Can't we just cross-link with it and that sort of thing, stuff? You, you would think there would be an easier way, but no. Another hanging. Ruled as a suicide. But oh, I have a surprising. feeling it's another murder. Uh, of course you do. I'll have to check on this case later. For now, I'll focus on the Goodman case. Who's sending me these messages? What messages? You've only received one message. <laughs> I wonder if there was a, was meant to be another message that got removed? I'm just reading the case notes here. It says no suicide, I don't need to no request recovered. any evidence right now. So, why do they sort of assume that it's a suicide? They're very bad at their jobs. <laughs> I think the implication is supposed to be that Davies is just kind of a lazy cop and will just go with the easy answer. Yeah. I don't know, they seem to do a lot of walking around these cops. I need to enter some sort of code here. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> we can't do anything with this at the moment. Yeah. And it gives no indication of what we've downloaded onto it. 
This sounds wicked cool. It can help see through colors. <laughs> wicked and cool. And also can project I don't think anyone said that. It has Anthony Longmore's fingerprints in it. <laughs> now the device has his fingerprints stored in it and can project them. If you can think okay. of any way that could be useful. I guess you could very quickly compare fingerprints, but fingerprint I need to check with John about this message I got on my phone. Why would John know what the mess why the me what the message is? I mean no no one likes John, he sits all the way over away from everyone else. <laughs> yes. Everyone else shares a desk. McCoy? He's got his own Red. way off in the distance. <laughs> You have an address. Yeah, heading there now. Coming? Ah, <laughs> no. Too many donuts. You take Sully with you. What? Great. Too many donuts. What? He hasn't eaten any case. donuts today. Did he he said there was no donuts. A Cupid yeah, of fat we, ass too? Didn't we steal them? <laughs> have we got donuts? I just got a message donuts? in my phone pointing me to another No, we gave picture. our donuts to another Robert. Girl found oh, we gave him house one. Two I thought years we might have given him like one or two. So what's on Well, we gave him one, but then the rest all disappeared from the inventory. Oh, I see. I think we're looking at a serial killer. The real question is why would That's the killer nice change his patterns all of a sudden? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he's not the best cop, but he's fairly, you know, a nice kind of guy. His previous victims passed as suicides. This was an obvious murder. How do you murder. know it's a guy? Guy got tired of dancing and wants to get caught? I don't know. This seems too complicated in a way. It seems almost like a game. Uh, it's not common, but... Killers do that change them all from time to Game. time. Maybe. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. I'm going to stay here and pretend to use my mouse. <laughs> Coming straight after the Scarlet Furies thing, the almost like a game line is just bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a bit weak. Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. I need you to come with me. Lunch? Would you drop it with that damn lunch? We got work to do. I thought you didn't want me to come with you. Well, yeah, I do now. All these cops Hurry are obsessed up with food. My... <laughs> well, they don't seem to have much to do. Everything's either a suicide <laughs> or... <laughs> just Eric is the food. only one who actually does any work. <laughs> And now we can finally visit our dead guy's house. Yay! Flat. And that will be our final video. We will investigate the dead guy's house and finally solve the crime. Yeah, that won't be boring or irritating at all. No, uh, it's not... it's not dull. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> that would be in line with the rest of the game so far. 